Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I didn't, they don't teach digital marketing in Ghana. There is no school in Ghana here that teaches that. It's now that you would see some people organizing a webinars um, saying, oh, and pay 50 CDs for digital marketing. If you go there, they're just going to teach you how to post on Facebook. Yeah, but I learned <laughs> it by myself. So, so what happened was, uh, it was more or less like a hobby when I was in university. And one thing that you should know is social media management is a subset of digital marketing. Digital marketing mm -hmm. includes social media management, it also includes email marketing, blogging, and then we also have influencer mm -hmm. marketing. So when I was in university, I, I, would, I have social media accounts. And what I do was okay. I put content on my pages and then people were loving it. Like, so I'm happy when people see my content and they are reacting to it. Not knowing I was getting the knowledge of digital marketing mm -hmm. No, and I didn't even know. So, so how did I even get into it? So I, I went to do my internship at TV3. That was in 2016 okay. for some few weeks. And the PA of my boss, when I was working my internship, what I, use, I usually do was I, I buy fry, fried egg, egg, um, egg and yam for my boss in the afternoon. You know, I'm always buying food uh -huh. and all that. But then when I come back, <laughs> I'm on social media posting and people are liking it, especially Twitter. During those days, selling okay. followers do that. It was that people, it's very difficult, but I was able to do it. So the PA of my boss saw what I was doing and she was happy about it. Mm -hmm. So in 2016, two, three decided to give their social media a facelift. They were not even having any accounts. Everything was bizarre. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then the PA remembered that, oh, I know Edward. He likes social media a lot. So they invited me. Mm -hmm. Should I continue? Or... <laughs> I <should go> on. <laughs> yes. No, yes, of yes. course. Go on. It's very, it's actually very entertaining. I'm very entertained. Please continue. Okay. Um... Uh, okay. Yeah, so. Okay. okay, so what happened was um, when I I went for the interview, when I was invited by the P and I went for the interview, they were really surprised about the number of followers I have on my Twitter account. So without asking me much questions, they asked me, when are you going to start working? I was in level 400 then. Please, let me close the door. Wow. My, you just came from. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. That's fine. Um, so, uh -huh. you wanted to say something? No, no, no I was just um, telling those who just joined to like turn on their cameras. That's uh, that's all I'll say. <laughs> but you can continue. Go on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I went for the interview, they knew I was level four hundred, and they took me. I was also excited because those times getting a job at school was something that. Is I know my academics is going to suffer, but I took it anyway. And I was asked to bring another colleague that is also good in the field. So I recommended a friend and we went together. So in the morning, I'll go to work and then I'll close. Sometimes I miss classes, sometimes I don't. And then that's how the sacrifices. Come. Yeah, yeah. But I think I was getting from this morning <laughs> when I was in level 400. So that's how I entered the profession. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So, um, with how did you also start with LinkedIn too? Did you always have a LinkedIn account or that came in later? I had a LinkedIn account and I wasn't active. Yeah. When I, so the, there, was, there was a plot twist to my job at TV3. When I was there, they were supposed to, it was during an election year, they were supposed to send my name to NSS for service. Mm -hmm. But the mm HR -hmm. got, and just a few days to, after the, the posting had come out, and I was posted somewhere else. He, he, um, he oh, left wow. the company. 
<laughs> so I did, wow. all I, I did all I could to stay at two, three. Uh, they wrote numerous letters to repost me, but they just wouldn't do it. So uh, I left to go do. I left to go teach economics in Upper West. <laughs> yes, but whilst I was at Upper West, Upper I was West still doing. Wow. Yes, I was teaching economics there. And, but I was doing my social media work also for people in Accra here. I was still doing my paid Rassi Valley Resort. So somebody who knew me at TV3 gave me a social, they have social media to handle for them. And then I was also doing um, digital marketing for the NDC party during that time. So we were, okay. <laughs> we were doing for NDC during that time as I was, I was in the Upper West. So, um, the question you asked was uh, how if yeah I how you started that. with me yeah and so when I came back from Upper West, um, TV three had done a lot of changes, new faces. Nobody really knows who I am. Like so, they, they were not willing to take me back. I was like, oh, you people, <laughs> you are my family, but they wouldn't take me. So I wow. went back to my personal account started working on them again just like i was doing before they saw me and mm -hmm. I, I went to linkedin to go look for jobs that's how i created an account but i didn't know how to use it i'll send people dm please i need a job can you hire me nobody really might nobody was minding me <laughs> and, <laughs> then, and then um recently recently i just got into LinkedIn and I was like, um, I was able to do Twitter. I was popular then on Twitter. I could make it would go viral. So I could do the same thing for LinkedIn. And then mm -hmm. one thing about social media is um, you should be emotionally intelligent. Yeah, that's true. Because everybody has social media, but, but not everybody can make posts that people would like. Exactly. So, so I was I was able to tap into that my emotional intelligence thing, and then I started posting on LinkedIn, and then it started going viral, and that's how wow. I met. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. I said that. Yes, that's true. Um, and I honestly want to say I don't want to interrupt or you know because this is Eunice's thing, but I just have to say that the way that you use LinkedIn it's so admirable like i just it's it's exactly what you said you need to have the emotional intelligence so intelligence. when you post something i always feel it and i'm just like wow this guy has something but one question that i wanted to ask is i know you said that um you started on twitter you were good with twitter back then and then you know you were doing other people's social media but how did you how did it even come into you to to even start with Twitter, like how you were just sitting down one day and you're like, let me just go on Twitter and start tweeting. <laughs> the thing is, I, 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 some of my friends, when I was in high school, my friends thought I was, I was too, I was too not flexible, I was too rigid. And most of the boys who they see to be the B, but those who go onto Twitter to use it. So I also wanted to feel that way. And that's how come I got there. So <laughs> so I got there and then I would I'll be tweeting you nobody will see my tweet. And it was depressing <laughs> in the beginning because like nobody really cares about me. And I started following people haphazardly. I just randomly follow a lot of people and then they were following back. And then I start, I kept tweeting, and then they started liking it. And that's how come I gained momentum in doing what I was doing. The thing is, when I started, nobody was really reading my tweet. I, was, I didn't give up. There was this energy from inside that yeah. I'll just wait. And I'll take my laptop, log into Twitter, I'll go to CTFM, they are doing their morning show, and then I'll be tweeting my opinion under their, uh -huh. just like that. Yeah. Yeah, that wow. was actually going to be my next question. I was going to ask, like, what things were you tweeting and what things were people finding interesting? Okay, so on Twitter, what I usually tweet was, um, I do this 
motivational um, tweets because I'm a I'm a Christian guy, and I also tweet about love. You know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> so, so I was I would tweet about love and I would about about God and people were liking it. Like I could tweet things that people can relate to. Right. So one of the tweets that I, uh, one of the tweets that went viral those days was, um, what was the tweet? Uh, what does it mean to tell you girl you like her? And she said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't so hear I that, sorry. Her, and what does it mean if you tell a girl you like her? And she says, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have got this, this kind of experience. So they liked it and it went viral. And some of my friends started sending me a text like, oh, Edward, like, why? Are the girls bouncing you and all that? So <laughs> that's one of the things that comes with their the work. You know, so people try to read meaning into your tweet and all that, but I sacrificed all of that and I did this anyway. So I tweeted mostly Christian stuff and then I tweeted also things about love. Sometimes I tweet about politics, but most of the things that went, went viral more were things about love and things about um, Christianity. Some people do the other ones and they go viral as well, but I, I don't do that one. Okay. Which other one? Just like which other ones? Which other ones do the people do that you don't do? Okay, okay. Um, so if you go online, you see a lot of talk about sex a lot. Sorry, there are youngsters here, right? <laughs> I think everyone so, um, is above eighteen. Okay, okay, Mal thank God. Mal <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Okay, then sorry, sorry. But it's nothing. I mean, you can't you get there. You get there, Charlie. <laughs> so one of, the, one of the topics that do well on on Twitter is sex. Sex sells a lot. So when especially if you're a lady and you're tweeting about sex, a lot of guys will troop on you. So, but what, what happens is that companies will not find your your account attractive. You understand? But, so yeah. For me, I, because of the content I put on there, I see people who are serious-minded sending me messages that they want to work with me. But if you are okay. a lady and you're always posting about, um, I need a, this thing, this thing, people will react to your post, but not any serious person. Like Raju, I will be yes, in that <laughs> Maybe I'll go and hide under a different account and react. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So okay. So okay. Is, sorry, I don't want to hijack, but it's it's just so interesting, and I have like I I wanted to okay. ask another question. So, like you're talking about back then, right? Like how Twitter and TV3 and City FM and everything, but I don't think back then social media was what it was now, right? Because right now, social media is actually a very important part of people's businesses. It's like you actually have a marketing department. And at first, social media was under marketing, but now it's even on its own. Like it's even separate from digital marketing. Now it's like, it's, it's such an important role. So my thing is like, just from talking to you, it seems even back then, when social media wasn't what it is now, you kind of had the foresight that it was going to be because you're thinking about what brands will think and what, like, so what did you see? Like, what kind of things did you see? Or like, did you have an idea that it was going to be what it is now? Rajwa, this question is an interesting one. For some reason, for some reason, that's what I said. There's this force in me that kept telling me that, pushing right um, could you imagine an accounting job mm -hmm. i got an accounting job and um, i was doing my ica level uh, i did i've done i was done with part one right. and I, I went to the workplace for the first day the pay was good and i wasn't happy i was i was empty mm -hmm. I was like no i should be here uh, so i'm not saying go do that but i felt this energy in me that so the next morning i just took 
I just didn't go to work. And they called me and told them that I don't come again. And I kept doing the social media work. That time I was doing social media for bank assurance. So what they do is that they do conferences and I was handling the social media. Right. And I couldn't do the accounting work because I wasn't feeling it inside. Feeling it, so feeling for inside, some reason, inside. I was having this, this feeling that I can succeed in this area, even though that time um, the, the, the name itself was not huge. Do you understand? So I kept, I kept pushing. For some, I don't know, maybe it's all God. Yeah. But all I know, yeah. I was so passionate. I was so passionate about it, and I kept being consistent, consistent, consistent. If I tell you the number of the number of companies that send me DM every day that they want to me to do social media for them, it's it's a lot, and um, I have to discipline myself to stay with one company. Else, I'll I'll keep moving all over the place. So right now it has paid off and I think there is more to come. So right now you are working with only, um, technically you're working with yen.com. Yen full time, full time, full time. I'm with yen.com.gh, but under and I do with for other people as well. Yeah, <laughs> because I was about to say that you're, you're a little bit too talented to be strapped down to just one company. You have to, yeah. you have to spread the yeah. love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i do but my company just want me to be with them almost all the media houses in ghana wanted to, me to come work for them so wow. all of them i've gone for interview at multimedia joy fm um, they wanted me to come full time i went to tv3 TV, TV, so tv3 came back for me again and <laughs> and um, so when it came back for me they offered me big money so mm -hmm. i left and when I left, yen.com.gh called me. The, wow. the interesting thing is our headquarters is in Ukraine. So this, the co-CEO oh, in Ukraine yeah. called me. I never knew this. I don't yeah. know that yeah, no, it's not a Ghanaian company, but, but Yen is Ghanaian, but our headquarters is in Ukraine. Okay, okay, got so, it. So our, the co-CEO called me and told me that they don't want me to go. So the very first day I, I reported at TV3, I had to tell them that, um, you know what, I'm sorry, I, I can't come back again. Because oh. <laughs> I people said with me, so I had to let go. And of course, they, they had to give me um, another offer to, to match up to what TV3 was offering now. And I went to yeah. Metro TV. I went to Metro TV for an interview. They all called me, and they all found me on LinkedIn. So yeah. I, I think I'll tell you how I was wow. able to do it to find, find me over there. All of them at Paul Scanner, you know, Paul. Yeah, Paul's, Paul's yeah. Oh, yeah, Paul's, Paul's, yeah, Paul's. Paul's. Ghana, Web, Ghana Web found me there. And wow. yeah, another company. Yeah. Yeah, I try to let like all the different people that we work with and that we mentor that LinkedIn is so important. I think it's um it's just now really getting a lot of momentum in Ghana, but it's so so I, I can't stress how important LinkedIn is. And for some reason people think that they're too young to join and I'm just like, yeah, I think the the age that you can join is like sixteen. So I just say everybody should have a LinkedIn page now. Honestly, that is true. It is so true. You can on LinkedIn now. Um, so the, the thing is, I, I I know one of the ladies who was on this on the on the live right now, and I've been telling her to create one. She writes as well. Oh, I don't know okay. if I can. Um, Sarah. Yeah, she mentioned on the page that she knew you. Yes, and I've, she she could write very well and i was telling her that if you keep writing and sharing it to your whatsapp contacts it wouldn't go anywhere <laughs> understand so why don't you create a facebook um, a link? <laughs> come again no i was just saying that don't do that to whatsapp but it's true <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um, I, I i was advising her to 
create a LinkedIn to, to share her post there. And one thing is that if you start sharing your post there, it exposes you to a lot of business owners over there yes. who are willing and are looking for people who can show what they can do. Somebody yeah. could just give you a job because you could write beautifully or the way you could, you could communicate your thoughts. It's so beautiful. And most people are getting a lot of jobs over there. Like I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So right now, I started my own blog and I started posting them over there. Every day, I have made it a point to post at least one post on LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, lady, do you have any other questions? No, no, go ahead. Sorry, I took over your interview. Oh, no. <laughs> so um, speaking about LinkedIn, how it's very good that you mentioned that it's good that everyone at least has a LinkedIn account. What five tips would you want like us to like keep in mind when building our LinkedIn account? Okay, so when you build your LinkedIn account, before you even start, go to the photo studio, wear a very nice office shirt or suit <laughs> or coat. And then if you're a lady, get your makeup done beautifully. Get your hair done. And then go ahead and take a very nice headshot of yourself. Preferably with a white background. Okay? okay? And then use it as your profile picture. The reason is, the moment you send a connection request to anybody at all, even on Facebook, the first thing they do is to do what? Check What's the first picture. thing people do? <laughs> yes. Check your We all do it. Yes, when somebody sends you a WhatsApp message, hi, and the person is not in your contacts, what do you do? Take the display picture. There's no picture there. Um, you try and act like you know the person, or maybe you are dealing with the person, you, want to know that. you understand? So, get a very beautiful picture, just like I said, high definition, professional picture, and put it there. And then, if you're a student, um, I, I don't advise people to put students in their bio, like, student at the University of Ghana. When I was in University of Ghana, I used to do it because I want people to know that uh, I'm in Lebanon, you know? <laughs> but it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. There's a way to do it. So we have what we call back or the headline in LinkedIn. It comes right beneath your name. Uh -huh. So let's say you, you are interested in um, what 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 are you interested in? What kind of work are you interested in? Okay, let's just say I'm interested in mid marketing. Let's marketing. So, so beneath your name on LinkedIn, you write marketing manager. You understand? Or marketing executive, or you write sales executive. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, there is an option where your school will show on your profile without you putting it in your headline. What happens is that when, when job um, offers people are looking for marketers, they don't look for your name. Mm -hmm. What they look for is the role that they want to fill. Yeah. So they go into the search, the okay. search bar. Let's say I'm, I'm looking for marketers. They go into the search bar and they search marketing executives. So if you have that marketing executive in your headline, your name will pop up. Okay? But another... Other factors also amount to your name popping up in the set results. And that is filling all your info. So it is very important to fill your ed ed education where you went to school. I filled my up to high school. I wanted to ask my junior high school recently. The reason is some people will be willing to offer you a job just because you went to their school. It's okay? very true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you know, which would you do? University of Ghana, the senior high, high Laboni. 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 So put Laboni over there. And let's say I'm, I'm an old student of Laboni. If, I, if I'm looking for a marketing <laughs> executive and I, and I realize that you went to Laboni, I'll hire you. But I want my school to use that kind of pride. Okay. And then another <laughs> thing is you have to. Uh, somebody's okay you have to fill your about so there is a portion where you have to fill your about so it tells people who you are and please if you are filling that area you have to make sure that you write good english 
can put some errors over there because it puts people off. It gives off a bad impression about who you are and you can deter people away from your account. So we tell people, if some people use the third person, um, um, Edward Asari is this. Uh, ask me, I wrote it myself. People know that I wrote it myself. So I wrote, I am a social media manager with expertise in writing, graphic designing, you understand? So yeah. after writing my about, I make it unique. And I'm, I take it out for people to, people to be able to read. When people come to your profile about, and it's too compacted together, everything is plain to like a Bible. So yeah. What I did was I spaced it out. Out. So when I write one sentence, I click the enter button twice. Pa, pa, the next sentence. And then where, where need for I use bulleting or numbering to state the skills that I have. Okay. So here I, I, the skills I wrote are digital marketer, digital media manager, Google ad expert. And then I spaced it out nicely and I stated all my social media accounts. And the one thing you have to know about LinkedIn is that when somebody is not connected to you, you cannot send a person a message. So I stated my email in my about so that if you are not connected to me, you can be able to reach me via my email. And I got people reaching me via my email because they were not connected to me just yet. And then another feature of LinkedIn is um, the featured sector corner where you can either add posts that are doing very well on your on your page so you pin them so for me i use the posts that are doing very well or you can either enter um web page that had written about you so let's say i have um, a website that had written a story about me and it is doing very well i can put it in my featured posts and then as of now i have I have appeared over 657 times in search in searches for the past week. That's a lot. It means that when people search for either a keyword in digital marketing or social media manager, I appeared 657 times. And then for the past week, the number of people who viewed my profile is 10,231. So these are the kind of numbers that are coming to my page just because of the yeah, keywords that I use. Yeah, keywords that I use in my account. And then also, um, most students, because you, don't have, you do not have any work experience, it is difficult to add experience to your page. That is where it's very important to volunteer or do internships when you are in school. So um, I added my, my internship. Previously, I wasn't having any internship, but I used to farm. I was, I grew up in a village, so I used to farm. So I wrote in my experience column, I wrote that I'm a farmer those days. Now I don't want people to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what happens is that when people see that you have, you can do something, all, all people want to see is you are proactive, okay? Even if you see that you can do something, they are willing to give you a job. Okay, so when I read that I'm a farmer, it means that I'm not sitting down idle. Okay, I'm actually putting myself into good use. And then there's also another column called um, the licenses and certificates. LinkedIn gives you the ability to, to learn. Okay, in learning. And then after every course, they will give you a license. Okay, but to be able to access that, you need to have LinkedIn Premium. So I wasn't, I wasn't ready to pay for any premium, but there is one month free trial. So what I did was I signed up for the one month free trial and I took the test for digital marketing and social media management. And then I added a lot to my page. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight licenses to my page. So what wow. happened is that after after one month, I canceled my subscription. You understand? Because if you don't cancel it, they will take it from your your bank account. And I'm I'm not sure you people are ready to pay. Okay. So please, so please when you sign up for the for the premium account, um, don't use it just to be who view your profile. Use it to go and learn. 
with right. LinkedIn learning. Okay, so if you are a marketer, go and learn on marketing and then take the exams. They are not difficult. Some of them I didn't even I didn't even watch the video. I I just um, went through and then I took the exam just so that I can get the license logo on my page. When people see mm -hmm. it, they'll be like, wow. Oh. Okay, so the weight of make sure you are here more <laughs> in the and then also um, there's a place where you can add skills and endorsements so let's say uni says you want to be a marketer so you in the skills column you choose marketing, marketing executive sales personnel sales executive um administrative executive so you add all these skills to your page and then you can ask your friends so let's say um Eunice has created a linkedin page you can ask members so you do it for all of, for for yourselves okay okay so when you okay. endorse each other what what it means is that you are telling linkedin that a lot of people are interested in your linkedin profile you understand yeah uh -huh. yeah so so for me what i did was when a lot of, because my account has become very popular i receive a lot of messages every day so when people send me messages every day, I, I, I ask them, can you please go to my profile and endorse my, my top three skills for me? So I did that and I have over 100 endorsements right now on my skills. Wow. So this also boosts your search appearances on LinkedIn when people are looking for any role at all on LinkedIn. So you can do that for yourself and then you ask your colleagues to do it for you. And then one thing... Yeah. Um, the, I, I was just trying to chip this in. So my brother, my brother is doing IT at DTUC, and okay. then I gave I gave him this this idea. So he's not done with school. He's still in level. He's now in level hundred. He's going to level two hundred. So he's also interested in the kind of work I do, digital market. So he did it with no experience at all. I'm not saying go and lie, but I teach him, so he knows what he's doing. With this experience, uh, somebody reached out to him from the U.S. for him to manage his social media for him and to do his website. And the wow. person, paid him, a person paid him two thousand cities to just do the social media work and the website. So the one that he can't do, he tells me I show him how to do it. And then the website, he gave he gave it to, to do the website for him. And then he paid off the person. And now he's doing the social media work for the person. So now he's, he's in level 100 and he's getting money for doing social media. Wow. Ah, so so uh, that is one of the, the advantages of going, going on LinkedIn. Because of how he, he did his, his um, LinkedIn account, he got a client from the, not even in Ghana. And the person paid him right from wow. the U.S. And he got yeah, I get that as well. So I think I talked about talk a lot. Jenny, I have to be. Oh, no, no, I'm actually enjoying this. Like, this is very. Yeah, it's, it's very <laughs> informative and very educational. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank so, you. So, yeah, I, so, okay, so we're at the 40 minute mark. Does anyone um, have any questions for Edward? Because he's given a lot of information. Yeah. If you have any question, you could just unmute yourself and ask. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Anyone? Have Okay, I guess not. But okay, I have a question though. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, so with LinkedIn, um, is it? Do you have? So I I know you mentioned that with like when you started your blog, at least you post once a day. How often do you have to post, especially when you just start, like a new LinkedIn account? 
So there's nothing like too much. There's nothing like too much. So, okay. so what I did was I now have my personal blog alongside um, me working for Yen. And what I, after closing, so after talking to you guys right now, I'm going to post the story on my blog before I tell you. Okay. There's nothing like too much when it comes to posting on LinkedIn. Do you know what happens? Every application, every social media application wants a lot of people on the app. So mm -hmm. they, they, reward, they reward people who post often. Okay. And so what LinkedIn is saying is that, okay, because you have been posting a lot on our page and you're keeping people on our page, they will reward mm -hmm. you by making you appear to a lot of, a lot of users online. So I am sure if you ask Rajwa, anytime she logs on to LinkedIn, she sees the post of mine. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> True. Why? Because LinkedIn is trying to reward me for putting out posts to keep people on the app. Okay, so the more you post, the more you appear to a lot of LinkedIn users. And then don't wow. say that. Don't say that you don't have anything to post. Do you understand? <laughs> if you can start messy, you can start messy and then become better. When I started posting on LinkedIn, nobody was reading my post until I posted about a certain lady who is a lawyer in Gambia and then in Ghana. So when I posted that, people reacted to it and then I kept hammering that one. That's how come I started posting about success stories <laughs> on the page. Yeah, that's, that's one thing about LinkedIn. So you try all the content strategies that we have and the one that works, don't stop, don't stop. You keep doing it, you keep doing it. Some days I don't have content, but I have to put something there, okay? So that is how mm -hmm. the LinkedIn rewards the users on the platform. Some of you, some of you there, LinkedIn is not the only place I can do it. Some of you are writers. Some of you, maybe you are interested in selling products, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of you are interested in um, maybe modeling. Then um, Instagram is for you, or uh, Facebook, or maybe Twitter. What, what is happening okay. now is you need to create an audience for yourself. Because right now, uh, your, your audience or your network is more like a currency for you. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's your currency. Um, um, when you grow your, your followers, it attracts people to you. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm sure Raju understands that. Like when you have a, a network of people you can contact, okay, I can send this person the message and I can get this thing down. Like have that, those kind of people around you. The WhatsApp family, dear, people you know on WhatsApp, eh? They barely support I'm I'm, right I'm that way. Just kidding. <laughs> What's up, dear? Oh, but see, I know I know a lady, I know a lady who sells her clothes on WhatsApp. And she gets over two thousand status views on her WhatsApp status. So what she does is that she gives out her number free. You know, if if you ask her for your number, I should do it. You go that's, what she's selling. that's not the primary number, that's why. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it is. It is. And um, so that is one thing oh. about the LinkedIn thing. Post. Okay, just keep posting. Post about how your school is. But make sure that the content you're putting out there is not something that will make you look bad or anything. Okay? Make sure you, you are dressed for, for success. So let's be graduation. Post it. If you, even if you didn't go for uh, graduation, and then you can just go and take a professional photo in your office and then you post it. If you go for an internship, post it. If you are looking for a job, you can post yourself on LinkedIn and then people keep sharing you till you get your job. I got jobs for people on my page. So there's a lady, she finished with 17. She wasn't getting any job. And then on her picture, she, she was, it's like she was sleeping on her, on a couch. And then she took a selfie of herself and used that a LinkedIn page, um, profile picture. So she sent me a message that, Edward, I like what you are doing, and I'm so inspired. Your stories are nice. I said, thank you. And I asked, what's left to you? She said she's not working. 
I told her that, ah, so why is that you look so pretty for your profile? And then she was like, so that, so that people will have mercy on her. <laughs> so she said that if she looks, if she looks weird or if she looks like she, she doesn't have, she's poor, then people will give her a job. And I told her, no, that's not it. So she should change her picture. So she, she, she actually models, I never knew. So I asked her to use a certain picture as a profile picture. She did. Then she sent me an office photo of herself and I posted it. When I posted it within that day, she got an interview. And right now, as I'm wow. talking to you, she's, work, she's working at wow. Tema right now. And she says she loves the job. And her mommy wants me to come home to see them. And they want to spoil me for getting their daughter a job. <laughs> Do you understand? Wow. <laughs> and she's the one. Yeah. The other people that I posted on my page and right now they are working. All I'm saying and is actually oh, I can I can I can vouch for that because about th two or three months ago, you posted about the lady that makes tiles. And you know, like she makes tiles by um I guess she has a young lady in Ghana and she just started her own company and because I've been in Ghana for quite some time, I'm, I've decided to do like a whole bunch of renovations in my parents' house. So I actually contacted her based on you. Like I, I just thought it was amazing wow. that this young lady is making tiles and she's going to be doing the tiles. Like we have, like we have a whole job set up for her based on you. Cause uh -huh. if you remember, I asked you for her number and you DM'd it to me. Yeah. 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 So that is, that is it. For some reason, for some reason. Please, um, I have a question. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so some time back, Yvonne Okoro posted on LinkedIn that she thinks it's misleading to advise people to take link, LinkedIn seriously because of the, like, the numerous job opportunities available on the platform. So I wanted to find out what you think about that statement because I think it's quite contradicting from what you are saying. What, so what, 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 what's it, what's it, what did she say? What did she say? I didn't catch that. She was like, it's misleading to advise people to take LinkedIn seriously because of the numerous job opportunities available on the platform. <laughs> Hello, can you hear um, me? I yeah, can, so I, you're I saying that because... Oh, okay, can you... I, okay. Okay, so, so I, your question is because there are many jobs, you shouldn't take it seriously? Yes, that's it what she said. No, I think maybe um, she, I think no, what she meant was that. the fact that, you know, because people think that there are many jobs on LinkedIn, some people's mm -hmm. job might not be authentic, like, may not be real. They might be scammers or... But that's, but that's everything, right? That's everything. The jobs in the newspapers, the jobs in Facebook, the jobs <laughs> online, everything can be a scam. So I don't know. But no, Edward, I, think, I, I, I don't think that's what she meant because reading what she said, she added that if you have received such advice, please disregard it. You might get... Whoa. Mm -hmm. Pane, I didn't get that. What did you say? Wow. Um, yeah, Lily, does it, it seems like you have a, a weird, okay, I have to mute her. Yeah, Lily, um, it seems you have a bad network, so we couldn't really hear what you were saying, but, um, I haven't heard anything like that before, so I, I don't know, I'm not, maybe I'm the wrong person to ask. Edward would probably be a better. Okay, so I'll say that one. No, who is bad? <laughs> because let me tell you, since I became very active on LinkedIn, I have got numerous companies reaching out to me for me to work for them. I told you, I, I nearly moved from Yen recently. Just recently, I went to TV3 and I had to go back to where I was. You know, they were offering me big money and I was like, oh my God, I can finally get married. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so yes that's why i wanted to leave but um they said they wanted me back they gave me a new offer i was like okay um, i'm learning a lot of yeah, so i stayed Re um, recently is it just this past monday i was at metro tv for for an interview and do you know how they found me 
the lady the lady who was consulting for the company found me she, she took my number and called me and they asked me to go see them i went there and i saw them i told them that okay i have a job but if you want me to do it alongside what i'm doing and i can do it for you if you don't want me to do it for you that's fine so think about it so that's that's what happened so let me tell you i don't know how i'll be able to make you understand this whole thing but the earlier you take linkedin serious the better because all the industry members all the all the people who are business minded are there that is the only place where you can be able to chat with business directly you yeah. understand look i got in touch with Radra through linkedin look, she's a very big woman look at her she, oh, she has done wonderful <laughs> things <I> mean, <laughs> do you understand and i got in touch with her through linkedin if i had sent her a message on facebook she might not even mind me because she might think I'm some boy in <laughs> You understand? Or maybe Instagram. But when you're on LinkedIn, people see you to have this perception altogether. It has a language for itself. And you people know that. You know that. Some of you are not on Facebook because you think Facebook is for village people. Am I lying? I can't. Am I lying? <laughs> <laughs> and then but also, um, <laughs> In addition to everything Edward is saying, let me just um, answer what Lily, I mean, what Lily was saying that um, Yvonne Okoro said. So it's almost like, just picture it like you have an Instagram page, right? Or you have a Facebook page. If you have a LinkedIn page, you're not losing anything. It's just an additional outlet that you have to expose yourself. So if you're, ex if you're looking for jobs or if there are a thousand jobs on LinkedIn or whatever, you know, you apply on LinkedIn, you apply on what other job websites that you would also normally apply. So I don't see a downside. I, I just don't see a downside. It's almost like somebody saying that don't go on, don't have, don't go on Instagram because there are many models or something like it. It's like, so, you know, you just also have your page. It doesn't take away from you. You don't have to go on there every single day. If you don't want to, you know, it's like you, your profile is there and then you update it when you feel the need to, you don't have to pay it's free. Um, so that's just like my little tidbit. So, yeah. Thank okay. you so much. And then um, let me tell you, most of you, I'm sure most of you are in the university or in high school. Listen, when you finish school, eh, uh, I'm not saying it's going to happen to you, but there's a possibility that you will go through unemployment for some time. People will ask you to pay money. I paid before. Yeah. I paid 100 cities, 200 cities. And they will tell you that they are going to work on your CV so you can get a job. See, they took all my money. I was crying. I'll call them, please. I got, they wouldn't mind me. Do you understand? The, the fraud is everywhere. But when you yeah. go on to LinkedIn, it, it reduces. Do you understand? It reduces. As I'm talking to you right now, right now, as, um, I have a job opening for an accountant right now and an administrator right now. So the person said I should look for people to fill in the vacancies for him or her. Do you understand? So, and then recently I was looking for an assistant for, uh, for what I do. What did I, I posted a job at, um, opening on my LinkedIn profile. I didn't post it on Facebook because I'll have too many applications of people who don't really qualify for the job. That's the perception people have. But I posted it on my LinkedIn and I got a lot of applications and I got my candidate as we speak. So um, I don't know how to hammer it so much for you to understand. But this is really a good thing for you to know the importance as you speak right now. I'm sure some few years to come, you will come and witness or give a testimony as to as, as how this thing helped you. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, I also want to add, though, um, what are hashtags? Are uh, hashtags important? Yep, it is. So, <laughs> it is. Um, they are very important, especially on Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. For Facebook, they don't really make use of the hashtag. It is recently that they are trying to push people to use hashtags. So now when I'm trying to pose it, tell them to add a hashtag. 
So what happens is that when you use hashtag, it increases your audience. There are people who mm -hmm. are not following you. But let's say, so on my LinkedIn page, I mostly post about, most of the content is about women. Um, so women who are doing very nice things, um, very, very wonderful things. So one time I posted about Radua, and then I added a hashtag, women empowerment, female leaders. So there are people who are not following me, but are following the hashtag, women empowerment. They will get to see that post, even though they are not following me. Okay, so that is one of the importance of using, using hashtags. Just that you have to make sure that the hashtag you're using is in line with the caption that I've given in your post, so that it doesn't contradict. Yeah. And then if I can just add another thing that I've seen that works on LinkedIn is as much as when you slide into someone's inbox, it's not as creepy as Facebook and Instagram, but it's also sometimes a little weird because you have like people just coming up to you, like just wanting to talk or they'll just send a message and be like, hello. And then they just go or like, hi. So it, it gets a little bit weird. So I would say that if you want to strike up a relationship with someone just start engaging so maybe when they post you comment you try to like actually you know have interaction with the person so that they're like oh okay and then it's like maybe if you say something then you can even comment that oh can i ask you more about this in your inbox or something so that it's just not creepy because there's a lot of creeps out there so that's another thing that helps that is very true, Rajwa. Thank you so much. And then also, I want to add to that. When you get onto the platform and you want to send an inbox, uh, make sure that you go straight to the point. So let's say you want to reach me, um, supposed to you on your page. Don't send a hi and vanish. So start with, hello, Edward. Nice meeting you. Um, I'd like to start with those things. Just, just give me a template. Um, please, I am a graduate from the University of Ghana, and I'm currently looking for a job. I have this, this and this skills, can you please post my, me on your page? So when you write something like this, it gives the person um, a full story of what you want, okay? The full picture of what you want to, what you want the person to do for you. But if you keep sending high, then you vanish, then that one is, is very, some way, it's disturbing. <laughs> also, um, don't, don't go catching feelings on LinkedIn, okay? <laughs> <laughs> don't go catching feelings there. Some people are very nice. Some people are very beautiful. Some people are very handsome. Some people are very well accomplished. Uh, but don't go and mix your emotions with business over there. At least for the first phase of your communication. You know, don't go and be using, hi, dear, uh, sweetie. Nothing <laughs> 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 is just. It's some way, you understand? You see, you see how you're feeling right now? Uh -huh. So keep it professional. No, no, because I don't know. I think I don't know. It's, I feel like with Ghana, they've gotten accustomed to even if they meet, like talk to someone for the first time. Like you don't know me for anywhere. The first thing you say is "Hi, dear." I'm like, <laughs> uh, okay. You can say that maybe if you guys kept talking and then the the communication became become more informal then well you can see that but don't go acting or uh, you know romantic on linkedin you know and then don't be, don't be posting your facebook post as well the one that you reach one leg and things <laughs> <laughs> okay okay um, okay so um so by the way the stuff we okay, so we have to clarify the Ibonokoro that Lily mentioned isn't the Ibonokoro we all know. It's a totally different person. So this is like a marketer or whatever. She just sent the screenshot and it's a it's a, it's not the actress, right? The other one is an actress, right? Yeah. So it, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's just a lady that is putting her opinion out there. So it's like, you know, everyone has opinions. Uh, you know, you take what serves you, and I just, I personally don't see a downside to to having a LinkedIn page, but, you know, obviously, we're all grown. No one will force you if you don't want to, you know? That is true. Yeah. That is true. 
I have a question. Please ask okay. me. Okay, so the question is, is there a particular day and time to post um, to get more traction? Wow, I like the, your question. Do you have ambitions of becoming a digital marketer? <laughs> I don't I, because I've heard a lot about the time the time you post and the date that you post has an effect on the attraction that you get on social media. So I'm it just is wondering true. if okay. It is true. So for the for, for the various platforms, um you could so it, it varies for every account, okay? So maybe the person who asks this question, maybe a lot of people like visiting your page, maybe um, around 6 p.m. Somebody in the morning, but with the experience I have with the pages I manage, especially the yen.com Instagram page, the, the, the time that people usually visit the page is around 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's a peak time. So what I do is that I schedule my posts and then around 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. I make sure that there's a new content on the page. And you can know this by using the insight function on your Facebook page or on your Instagram page. When you go to your Instagram page, um, there is a function called insight. You can use that to check the country of the followers that you're having, even the cities, the gender of the people that are following you, whether you have more women or more men following you. So when you have more women following you, you know what kind of content to give them. Maybe you should give them baby pictures or uh, dresses, makeup stuff. If you have more men following you, you should post pictures of female model. Okay? Yeah, and they would like it for you. So that is that with uh, the timing of the post. But for me, uh, I'm posting every day, every time, because I want to reach everybody. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, also, I want to ask, but this is with regards to blogging. Um, so, you know, there's a perception out there that most like bloggers don't really tell the whole story. They always suit it to... <laughs> Put it? I said they, 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 well, I don't want to generalize, but most people say that it's a lot of clickbait. So they're the title doesn't have anything to do with the article or it's a lie or something like that, so. Okay, can I answer now? Yeah. Hey. Okay, so let me tell you, these are different things. Okay, so we have journalists and we have bloggers, okay? For, so for the journalists, yeah. they are the people, they are just like the people who read the news on TV, okay? So we have, the online journalists. So what they do is that instead of reading the news on TV or radio, they type it out and post it online. Okay? And then you have okay. the bloggers. Okay, are you there? So the bloggers yes, are just I'm like... There. The, the bloggers are just like you and me. And do you know what we are doing? We are just putting out our thoughts. Okay, we are just putting out our, our thoughts online, on the website, or on a blog. So instead of putting my content on Twitter or on Instagram, I can put it on edwardasari.wordpress.com. Okay, that is my blog. Okay, so it is my opinion, it is my content, and I can do whatever I want to do with it. Okay, I'm not a journalist. Are you with me? But then we have the journalists as well. Yes. The, the, the only similar, similarity is that they both use the same platform, which is the web. Okay, they use a okay. blog. Okay, but okay, bloggers, people who are a blogger, you are not a journalist. Are you here with me? So, let's say, yeah, I monetize my page. I'm a blogger, I blog about lifestyle or I blog about relationships. And I want you to come and read my page. I can use clickbait, and it, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, and you know, you can monetize a page. And when you monetize a page, it means that the more people view your, your content, the more money you make. So that is why uh, okay. bloggers but, use but, 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 
but bloggers don't they have any kind of standard because you know like journalists you're held to a different standard bloggers don't have any kind of standards because there's a lot of fake news out there so we have standards okay huh? so and um, okay. what's happening what is happening now is facebook and google are coming up with different policies each and every day for people to follow to make sure that your content can be monetized. And if you do not follow those policies or standards, they will demonetize your page. Mm -hmm. You understand? So um, and one, of, one of the policies is to make sure that you post only facts, only facts. And also you post content that is not violent. Okay, it doesn't portray violence. Mm -hmm. Another one is also to post content that doesn't promote racism or um, gender inequality or um, nudity or sexually suggestive content. All these are policies that you have to know as a blogger before you start blogging. Are you here with me? So when you start blogging, yeah. um, for now, um, those are the, the few, the few um, policies I can give you. But of course, we always have bad people amongst us. There will be people who will not follow these rules and they don't really care whether they, they demonetize them or not. So they will still still keep using the lies and they will still keep using mm -hmm. the, the sexually suggestive content to drive traffic. But then yeah. that's where the good ones come in. People like me. <laughs> so, uh, so people, people will know you when you keep posting. People will know what kind of content you're posting and they'll come to your page. Just like Raja keeps coming to my page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's true, honestly. I, I I can't. It's it's true. It's just very inspirational and everything. So cool. All right. So I think we have to wrap up soon. We're way past an hour. So yeah. all right. Does anybody have um, any last questions or? Yeah, I have a question. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, Edward, you you spoke about um. Um, WordPress, and I want to know if it's better to have the um, general domain on WordPress or if you can update your website if you should. Because I, after I updated my, I realized that the traffic that comes there sort of reduced. So I want to know which one, in your opinion, you think is better. Okay, so. Um, so most young people, when I started, I used the name ediasari.redpress.com. And that is because I couldn't buy a domain name. I wasn't having money. I was in university. And I still wanted to write. So I was writing something. I, I don't know what I was writing, but I was writing something. But um, recently, I was able to buy a domain name, and I have it with asari.com. So one thing about WordPress is that they keep changing their policies, okay? And then one of the things is that when, especially when it comes to pictures, so when you, you go download a picture that is not yours, and then you, you use it to write a story, it could affect your viewer, like the views on your page when there's a new policy and you don't know about, maybe you didn't read about a new policy and you update it. It could affect the, the number of views on your page because you had, a, you had violated the copyright the policy there. Are you with me? Uh -huh. So that's one of the reasons for why your viewership uh, reduced. Also, it could be that uh, the number of people that you, are, you keep sharing your, your, your content to is few. Some people have blocked you on WhatsApp, but they stop seeing your broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, uh, so maybe you should start sharing your content on other social media platforms okay and then maybe to drive traffic to your your page that is one of the advice i would give you but then when you have money you can try and get a real domain name so that you remove that wordpress in the middle there i don't know if my answer makes sense for you uh, thank you okay Okay, um, I don't know if anyone else has a question. Before we go, I just want to just let everybody know, like, we, we did do a complimentary photo shoot for your LinkedIn pages for all Rajwa Army members. It was free. Unfortunately, not many people <laughs> 
took up the offer. So, and, and many people just didn't show up. So yeah, <laughs> just want to rub it in your face a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 okay cool. all right so yeah we'll probably do another my last one. question please my last question oh, go ahead. um edward is there really a standard to be on linkedin like do you have to get a standard before you can get an audience on linkedin or something yeah. no, but there's no standard you just, have, you just have to be yourself okay yeah. all right yeah all right. you just have to be yourself i know somebody that is there the person is a painter she, she, a lady. Mm -hmm. she paints. She paints like she could do normal painting, could draw. And that's what she's doing. Okay. Yeah, somebody right, also. Sure. She yeah, that shoes. You know, anybody at all can be there. There is no criteria yeah. whatsoever. I mean, just be yourself, but at the same time, also remember that it's the professional. You know, so it's kind of like the content that you post on Instagram maybe isn't the best for LinkedIn. So Thank it's like the more right. professional, the more professional version of yourself, but still yourself. Okay. Like, don't go and be somebody that you're not. All right, sure. Yeah. Thank if you. If you're a model, don't post bikini photo. <laughs> All right, sure. I'll be following you soon, so please add back when I follow you. Thank you. It's, okay, please. Yeah, let, 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 me, get let me give you another, 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 another advice. When you get to LinkedIn, eh? Yeah. Connect to as many people as you want. Connect, keep connecting, okay? Okay, okay, sure. Keep, keep, keep connect, connect, connect your thoughts to that, okay, you cannot connect any longer at this time. They <laughs> continue tomorrow, okay? All right, sure. That is how you, that's how you can also gain an audience for your content. Because if you don't have any connections, nobody will see your post. Yeah. As of now, I have over 10,000 connections. Just 10,000, not connect. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Find me on LinkedIn. Oh, sorry. You can find me on LinkedIn at Edward Asari. And then Edward Asari. On, yes. My picture is there. Let me, let me pick this one. This one. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. How clear. <laughs> Uh, Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the way it, is, it looks so professional, and it's like, yes, okay, this guy. Aha! Uh -huh. So that is what Raja did for you guys, and um, he refused to show up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, thank you so much, so 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 much. This was really great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank Have you. Weekend.